Hello world, hello YouTube, hello Toronto, shout out to Canada. We're back again, it's the Knack. We know it's been a long time coming, but we've been thinking about you and we've been working diligently. Happy New Year to everybody. Welcome to 2012. Right Today, me, Karas, my man, Noble One, and the big man himself behind the camera, Ace, Ace Boom. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's available. He's been making. He's been working real hard to make all this possible. Most you can definitely. hit him up. Today, we're gonna be doing a review on the top five hip hop albums of 2011. Right. Bro. Well, so on our review for um the top five rap albums of 2011, the Knack chooses Royce and Eminem's Bad Meets Evil as number five. On this album, Royce and Eminem come together to reignite and rekindle the flame of the empire that they tried to start about 10 years ago. And I think they did a really good job of it. Um, my favorite track on there was Fast Lane. And I think, you know what, I wish Nate Dogg was alive because I could so hear him on that chorus. Um, they have a radio track on there, Bruno Mars, Lighters. It's a really good song, but me and my crew, we disagree on certain things. Um, I think they, my crew says, you know what, that, that track doesn't fit on the album. I think it fits on the album, but that's another story. And um, the final, my, one of my favorite tracks on there is the reunion, but my, my, my producer, Ace Boom behind the camera wants me to keep this review short. Unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <you> know. <laughs> All uh, right. Straight up, man. With me, this thing was um, lyrically, it was insane. Um, I don't know any other project that could even come close with the lyrics on this album. Um, I feel that the instru the instrumentals on this project was completely was very weak. I disagree. Very, I disagree. Very weak to me. Okay. That's me, no boy. And um, you know, uh, really thinking of this, when I think of this album ten years later, I'm looking at the Starter House track, Loud Noise, man. Ooh, this track, yes, this, big track. Yeah. This track, I think, could, could could stand up to any other classic track from Ice Cube, N.W.A., Tupac, Biggie, and and these are these are these are legends. You know, this is a big track. That's how I'm gonna end Slaughter it. Starter House is the modern day Wu Tang. Yes, there you it go, is. Man, there you go. Less so, members. No doubt. No doubt. More talent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For number four of our top five rap albums of 2011, The Knack chooses Wale's 11111 Theory, the mixtape. This was the mixtape before the album. This was the pre-Maybach Wale. And in all honesty, Ambition was released on 11-1-11, November 1st, 2011. And I believe he dropped this album in anticipation to create some hype. In all honesty, I feel as though this album was way, the mixtape was way better than the album. I agree. I agree. I, I completely agree. You know, with me, when I look at this album, this was a Wale album. This was, this was a Wale project. This was not a Maybach project. Um, I feel we had a lot of creative control with this project. Uh, all the beats are all original. You know, it did come off as an album, and to me, Varsity Blues, a uh, beautiful track, is probably one of the best tracks in 2000. 2000 of 11, I'm gonna go out and say that. So, no doubt, man, check out that album straight up. So, for number three on our top five rap album reviews of the year 2011, The Knack chooses The Game's Red Album. Um, this was his actual third album to, re to be released after the documentary and the doctor's advocate and i believe this is his best project yet this was the one album where you could go into the store buy the cd bring it home stick it in your disc player and you wouldn't skip a track i listened to this old album from cover to cover and each track spoke to me i believe the game really nailed it this time big props to him you know for me this was probably his best produced album you know, this is a brother that actually put out about two to three mixtapes. And when I read, he wrote about 100 songs. And these 17 tracks were the best of those 100 of those hundred songs. So, no wonder. You know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? So, you know, when it comes down to it, um, this is one of the most over, overly slept on, underrated rap commercial albums in 2011. Check it out. Copy. Number three. I got it on iTunes. Do you think? Game, respect. That's how we do it. For number two of our top five rap album reviews of the year 2011, The Knack chooses J. Cole's Cole World, The Sideline Story. Um, this, first and foremost, J. Cole is the Rock Nation's foremost artist. I believe this guy's got so much talent, he's over. He's overflowing with talent. He's gonna give Kanye West a run for his money come a couple years from now, because he's not only producing, 
but he's actually rapping on the productions and he's doing a really good job. Um, I believe this guy is better than Drake first off, but let's not even get into that. He doesn't sing, he produces, and he does a really good job of what he does. On this album, um, Coral the Sideline Story, he really, he really showed his versatility. He had something for the rap heads, he had something for the downsouders, he had something for the AT aliens, he had something right. for everybody. And and each track, you could tell that the guy actually had the ability to switch up his persona, to switch up his style, to switch up his swag. Royce, don't hate me. <laughs> I, I, me. I agree, man. I agree. You know, um, I think for a lot of the, the newer artists, he's the elite. You know, this is the guy that's really going to be taking the game to hey, the next He said level. it himself, man. Cole is like the leader of the new niggas. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 when it comes to me, you know, I feel J. Cole is one of the elite brothers of the new school. This is gonna be a guy who I feel that's gonna pave the way for hip hop for the next few years, you know? And, um, you know, when I listen to this CD, this CD is comparable to any, any rap album or any quote unquote hip hop album. You know, track for track, beat for beat, line for line, bar for bar. He's straight original, he's straight real, and no doubt, you know, I believe this is one of the best, if not the best rap albums coming out of 2011. For number one, we have all congruently agreed That's on right. Jay-Z's and Kanye West's Watch the, the throne. throne. Why Watch the Throne? Well, in all honesty, this album was, was one of the pinnacle of rap's albums of the year. Um, Production-wise, they nailed it. This was the one album, similar to Game's album, that I could actually throw into my disc player and not skip a single track from cover to cover. Um, Kanye West, I give a lot of credit for the production on this. I actually listened to this album and I felt like I was listening to a theatrical. That's how good the production on it was. I could listen to this as a musical and not even get bored of it. I read it number one. It deserves to be number one. My question for the world though, does Otis really mean only the Illuminati survive? I don't know, it's a little left field for me. But what his brother was saying, I totally concur, I totally agree. Um, the, the beats on here were, they seem futuristic. They seem they're trying to pave the way for a different know, kind game. of rap. Exactly, you know. And with Otis, and as well as uh, Pete Rock, you know, with Joy. It had that blue, soul. blueprint, the first blueprint feel to me when I first heard this album. And, and it had that soul, you know? And lyrically going back and forth, I don't think, lyrically it was the best, but it was a good balance. This is good music for, for your car, good bass, good club music. And for me, in the gym, in which I, that's where I really, really judge music, it, it, it's right on point, it's right on point. So I agree with everybody. All the, the, the NAC team, in which I say this is the best rap commercial album of 2011 no doubt best rap album of 2011 number one once again jay-z kanye west watch the throne cock that all right that was it that was a wrap that was our top five choices for best commercial rap albums of 2011 no doubt um if you like what we're doing subscribe you know what i mean show us love give us feedback on what you guys think uh, we got big things coming in 2012, so keep a lookout from all from everybody with the NAC, the whole NAC team. Much love, peace, whole tip.